Abba Dabba Dude. Hi there, this is Abba Dabba Dude. Welcome back. And it's going to be a fairly quick video today um, because really it's just to correct a mistake that I made in my last video, which was the review video of the Carlinkit AI box. Um, and I realised that I made a mistake in the instructions that I gave you for setting it up. Uh, didn't become evident until after I'd made the video. Um, so I just wasn't aware of it until I started using the device normally and stopped using it to make a video. Basically, what happened was in the last video, if you remember, there was a settings uh, section on setting it up and I told you to set the OEM GPS to uh, on, you know, to, to tick it. Um, well, I realised, I've discovered since, that I actually misinterpreted what that meant and when they say OEM GPS, I thought they meant the car OEM GPS, they, mean, they meant their OEM GPS. So, um, so yeah, I got it the wrong way around basically and it was working fine while I was filming the video because what I'd done was enable a setting that was going to use the Carlinkit GPS rather than my phone GPS. Um, and while I was doing the video, I had the Carlinkit out, the centre console open and the Carlinkit out on display just so I could keep an eye on everything that was going on. Uh, so that was fine because it got a signal in that location. As soon as I finished doing the video and started just using it normally, I tucked it away into the centre console, closed the lid. As soon as I did that, the car link, it stopped getting a signal. And as soon as I tried to use Apple Maps, the GPS just locked up. Apple Maps stopped working, stopped giving me directions. And it took me a little while to pin it down. So apologies if you found yourself in that position, but it's quite a simple fix. Um, so what you need to do is disable that setting, basically. So when you're setting it up, as you go into the auto box, the auto kit tick box, kit box, box, auto kit box settings. That was the one. <laughs> Sorry, that took me a while. Um, in in the uh, actual device itself, in the uh, Android 9 uh, settings for the device itself, go into the AutoKit settings there and where it says use OEM GPS, make sure it's unticked. I told you to make sure it was enabled, make sure it's disabled. So clear that box so there's no tick in it. You'll then have to restart the machine and what that will then do is it will use your phone GPS, which if you've got your phone in a sensible position in the car, will work. Where the auto box, if you've got it tucked away inside the centre console, will not get a GPS signal. So that's all there is to that one. Apologies for uh, any confusion I might have caused. I've tried to get this one out as soon as I realised the mistake. And hopefully before any of you have, uh, have received your, your AI box. So... That's it for this one. Apologies again. Uh, hope this works out fine for you. Uh, I hope you all see this as well, everybody that's bought one. And, uh, and that's it really. If you have any issues or any other problems that you don't understand, feel free to leave me a comment either on this one or the other video. Um, and if you found me correcting my incompetence to be useful, then please give me a thumbs up. <laughs> um, and also, as ever, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, all the usual good stuff. Uh, that's it for now. If you want to subscribe, you can do that now. Click on my ugly little face over there and maybe check out some of my other videos like this one up here. Till next time, this is Abba Dabba Dude saying so long, take care, see you soon. Bye. Abba Dabba Dude.